All right. Now this is the uh, upgraded version of the Hero One robot. Uh, the upgrades are shown on this side here. Uh, this is where the older boards, the main drive board and the uh, arm drive board were located. I took those off because they're not needed anymore with this upgrade. Because the Vex Cortex is going to control all the motors in this robot, as you can see. And uh, down below hanging is the, the red uh, Ramps 1.4 board that plugs in directly to an Arduino if you want it to. But instead of using the Arduino in this case, I, I used the Vex Cortex. I just hooked up all the pins to the Vex Cortex instead of to the Arduino. But you could, if you have an Arduino and you want to do it with an Arduino, you can do that. And then you could have all the firmware from 3D printers, uh, which you would have to customize to make it work. But it's, po it's possible to do it. I haven't done it because it's a big job. I find it's much easier to use the VEX Cortex for this application. Here's a close-up of the VEX Cortex. It's that big gray and silver mod module uh, that's on that plastic box there. And uh, the VEX Cortex uh, is remotely controlled using what's called VEXnet, which is a, uh, Innovations First Incorporated, the manufacturers of uh, VEX. Uh, it's their uh, Ethernet, I mean Wi-Fi module. But it's called VEXnet because they have, you know, they make it proprietary so that it works with all these VEX Cortex microcontrollers and it doesn't interfere with anybody else. And they're especially designed for school contests, and so they're very robust and reliable. Um, the top thing, the blue uh, battery there, is a 7.2 volt battery that powers the VEX Cortex independently from the uh, Hero 2, I mean Hero 1 robot. Uh, you see that little rec uh, cube with a with a uh, muffin fan? That that uh, module is the Parallax. HB25 uh, PWM motor controller and that's also op uh, con connected to the VEX Cortex. Uh, it just connects to one of the uh, VEX motor ports, the servo ports, so it's servo driven. Uh, that motor controller uh, drives the main drive motor on the Hero 1 robot, the DC motor that's on the front steering wheel. Uh, so it, it's the thing that moves the robot forwards and backwards and turns it left and right. It just needs one, it's a very powerful motor underneath and it's geared. Um, Heathkit also included a, an optical encoder disc for controlling its speed but with PWM and that HP25 I don't even need to use that I just control the speed using the uh, joystick. And the uh, joystick for this very interestingly is just a uh, p uh, game controller, very similar to your Sony PlayStation game controllers. And it also has one of the uh, Wi-Fi module, so it ties into this VEX via Wi-Fi. So I go cordless. I can also use a uh, USB cable to tether it to a PC or laptop for program, for downloading the program applications. But that's the only time that I need to tether it. On the floor you can see the uh, VEX um, game controller. It has uh, two joysticks and it has 12 push button switches which is more than enough uh, functionality to control every motor and uh, operation on the uh, Hero 1 robot and replace that black pendant that I showed you before. Uh, and this even has more functionality as well as being able to operate at you know long distances away, you know, uh, very large room, uh, you know, the, the Vexnet can can operate at you know big distances. Um, so it, it it makes controlling the Hero One very easy, and it can also be used as a teaching pendant. Uh, in a future uh, video, I'll show you how you can record all the motions using the uh, VEX Cortex and, uh, and then play them back and you can record them all the, the ones that you, you sort of train the robot to do whatever you want. Pick up a, a glass, uh, pick up a can of coke and then hand it to somebody. You train it to do that and then you, and you go back to the home position and then you say play 
and it'll play back all the motion uh, that you recorded. And the VEX Cortex has a tremendous amount of memory compared to the original 6808, so it can store many more motion commands than the original 6808 could. The 6808 could do the same operations, but it could only do it for very short periods of time. Does it work, you ask? Well, right now, uh, for this video, uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the working uh, changes, which you see in front of you, the VEX Cortex and the ramps board and the uh, Parallax HB25 all functioning to make, this mo to make the uh, main body move backwards and forwards, left and right, the same way as the original was working. But it, right now it doesn't rotate the head and doesn't uh, move the arm. That'll be in the second video that I'll, I'll uh, describe how to do that. The arm has got a lot of stepper motors in it and it's going to need a lot more control. Uh, so I'll show how to do that uh, in, a, in a future video that I'm working on right now. But here uh, I'm going to show you how this works. It does, it does operate and it works pretty well. Okay, uh, you see those flashing green lights on the VEX Cortex? Uh, that means I just turned on the uh, VEX Cortex and it's trying to sync to the game controller. And I believe it's synced by now. So let me see if I can... So now I'm going to turn on the main power, the 12 volt power, to power all the motors. I just turned on the main power switch, so all the motors are uh, operating. Um, and the motherboard, the original Heath kit. Uh, 6808 uh, motherboard is operating too. Uh, so it's reading sensors, I can read sensors and things like that and I'm, I'm going to show that in another video. Right now I'm just going to show you how I'm going to control it with the game controller using this uh, game controller right here. So uh, using uh, one of the joysticks, see I can move it forward, I can move it back, and see, this is very fast. I can steer it. It can turn on a dime. It is very accurate. And this is much faster than the original. The VEX uh, controls everything, all the motors very efficiently. That HP25 Parallax uh, motor, uh, controller is very powerful. They have a new one. Parallax came out with an HB50 that I think can do two motors, two DC motors at once. But this one only has one DC motor, so it works perfectly for it. Now I can go the other way. So it's very flexible. Um, and you can see the steering wheel turn. I can make it go forward, bigger arcs, make it go backwards. So this is as far as I've gotten. The next step is going to be to make the arm work. And then I'm going to, that'll be the second video. And then the, the third video will be uh, the training, uh, uh, learning, uh, using, this, uh, using this game controller to train the robot the same way as the original uh, Heathkit pendant. So I'm going to train it. At, uh, and and uh, finally, uh, uh, the final uh, videos will be on using uh, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 with this system. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 can, can replace the VEX Cortex or it can work along with it to handle all the sensors and, and uh, the high level control. So uh, that'll be a, a future, that'll be probably one of the more advanced videos along with uh, using smart sensors including the XYZ accelerometers and uh, uh, GPS and uh, uh, the electronic compass and things like that. Uh, very advanced uh, sensors that are I2C, they're called smart sensors, they use the I2C bus. Um, so I'll be describing those and how, how, you, how you operate them and the drivers for them and things like that. Uh, this is all I have for now. Uh, hope you like this video. Like I said, this is a project that should be of interest to Heathkit, the original Heathkit owners, uh, the uh, Arduino fans of the, Ar fans of the Arduino architecture. And then, of course, all the high school and college kids using the VEX, and now the new VEX V5, which has replaced the VEX Cortex. Um, the VEX Cortex is still powerful enough for this application, uh, but somebody who wants to do it with the V5 can use the same techniques 
because the Vex B5 is just the, the newer version of, of a Vex Cortex. Uh, it has even better sensors and be better motors and things like that.